Hello everyone. This is going to be question 7 in the Book of Questions. This is the 2013 revised edition. Uh, this one might be a little bit shorter than uh, previous entries in this series. Uh, anyway, uh, I could skip this question because I don't have a good, good answer for it, but I'm not going to. So question seven is, what is the most serious law you've broken doing something you thought was morally right, wouldn't hurt anyone, or was no one's business but yours? How bad would the punishment have been if you had been caught and given the maximum sentence? The thing about this is I don't actually know. I can't recall uh, instances where I've done something that I knew was against the law, but... Uh, I figured was harmless or uh, nobody's business or what have you. Uh, I'm not saying I haven't broke the law. Okay. Uh, anybody living in any modern country has probably broken a law and not even known it. So, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, have I ever been uh, speeding? Well, yeah, I've been over the speed limit. Uh, have I ever rolled through a stop sign? Yeah, probably. Uh, have I, have, you know, have I, uh, have I done other things that are, are not kosher? Sure. But I don't remember thinking that it was harmless at the time or it was nobody's business but mine or anything like that. I don't remember thinking much of anything when I was doing these things. Uh, or thinking, well, hope I didn't get caught doing that after the fact. Uh, but uh, it was it was there something that I did that I, you know because it was morally right. I can't think of any cases where I may have broken a law because I thought it was morally right. I can't think of any. I uh, broke it because I thought it wouldn't hurt anyone. Well, I can't think of any specific cases where I might have done that. Uh, 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 or it was no one's business but mine. I don't know. I don't remember any instances of that. Now, I'm, say, I'm being very careful here saying I don't remember instances of that. That doesn't mean there aren't instances of that. I just don't remember them. So because I don't remember this stuff, I can't really answer the second part of the question. Uh, how severe would it have been? Uh, the punishment have been? Uh, but let's take a take a look at some of the things that I'm likely to have done. Uh, speeding. Well, speeding's a fine unless it's egregious, and then it can be impounding your car, taking your license away, or uh, possibly jail time, uh, depending what happens as a consequence. Uh, you know, rolling through a stop sign, that's a fine, but you could lose your license, you could cause an accident. Uh, depending what happens as a result, that can be pretty severe. Uh, you know, maybe trespassing somewhere as a, for a shortcut. Uh, I don't know what the penalty for trespassing is. Jaywalking, maybe. That's usually a fine. So, uh, you know, I don't think I've done anything particularly severe. Uh modulo any consequences that can arise from that not particularly severe thing. Uh, a lot of these things are illegal for a reason. Uh, maybe the worst is running without winter tires in BC in the winter. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's I, I can't think of any specific instance. So and because of that, I obviously can't think of what the worst thing I've done is. I don't go around trying to making a point of remembering when I do something that I'm pretty sure is illegal. I don't make a point of it. So there you go. I really don't know. Uh, but it, this does have another section to it. Uh, and because I really don't know the answer to the main question, this question is probably here for just that sort of reason. Uh, if you were on a jury, would you be willing to convict a person for something you didn't think should be considered a crime? Willing? No. Would I? Possibly. Uh, 
I certainly would not be willing. If it's something I didn't think should be a crime, I would certainly not be willing to convict them. But there, this is a country with rule of law, and if we start ignoring laws because we disagree with them, we end up with anarchy. And it's a tough call. Now, there are a few things where uh, I, I would simply refuse to convict uh, uh, because it's just patently ridiculous. Uh, like for instance, uh, uh, I would not convict somebody for running away from a fight, from a battle, uh, in, the, in a war, in the military. I would not convict. Uh, I would not. Uh, the whole shot for cowardice thing, you know, back in World War I, that's ridiculous. Uh, quite frankly, only the only people that actually do run away from the war, those are the only sane ones. Everybody else is nuts. Um... That said, sometimes you have to fight, and obviously you need your soldiers to fight, but convicting somebody of cowardice, which is what they used to call PTSD, uh, or, you know, convicting somebody for that, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, sure, discharge them from the military, because they're obviously not suited for fighting, but I wouldn't convict them of, of anything. Uh, you know, that that's an example of the sort of thing... Uh, if uh, if it was considered illegal to be homosexual, uh, and you know, I would not convict on that law because that's making just existing illegal uh, for a non-trivial fraction of the population. So, you know, there are things I would not convict on. I would refuse to. But there's a great many more that are really just gray areas or things that I don't personally agree with, but might be justifiable in some way. And in those cases, I actually might convict even if I didn't want to. Uh, and the reason for that is the rule of law has to prevail at least in uh, to the, the at least most of the time or we have chaos and we, we slip into anarchy. And anarchy certainly isn't beneficial. So, uh, realistically speaking, most of the time I'd probably convict if, the per if, I, if I thought the person was guilty. Now, let, let's, let's clarify here. If I think they're not guilty, I'm not going to convict. Seriously. Uh, if you don't think the person's guilty, you don't convict. That's how juries work. Right, you 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 vote not guilty. If it hangs the jury, fine. But if you really believe that the person is not guilty, you have to vote not guilty. But if the person, if you believe they have done what they're accused of doing, that's where this question comes in. This is where the conundrum comes in. Do you agree with the law? Yes, then you convict. No, then you have to decide. Do you agree with the reason for the law? Or can you see the justification? Or is it so egregious a miscarriage of justice that you have to go against the law? That's the choice. And I think the bar for egregious a miscarriage of justice for me is fairly high. It would depend on what the punishment, the, the, the sentencing options are for the crime as well. That, that affects the choice. But, yeah, would I be willing? Probably not. Would I? There's a good chance. Uh, and the important point there is just because I'm not willing to do something, it doesn't mean I won't do it. And... And it could be based on pure logic or it could be based on emotion, but it will come down to a choice and there's a good chance my choice will be potentially against my conscience. And that's because I believe in 
at least an orderly society governed by uh, a reasonable set of rules. And we can't have rules if we don't stick to them. Anyway, that's enough rambling on this one, so I'll, I'll leave it there. If you liked the video or you didn't, leave a like or a dislike. That tells me if you liked or disliked the video. Go figure. Uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. They won't notify you of anything if you don't ask for it. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.